Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. And today, my friends, we got a brand new league for everyone to enjoy. I've been going at it for about seven hours right now, and I'm finally editing the video. And I'm just gonna say this league is freaking awesome and I'm so excited to play it and I'm so excited to make tons of videos on it. But very quickly, if you guys do not know what leagues is all about, this is a temporary game mode going until I believe January 6th. You have a bunch of tasks that you can complete that give you points. With the points you can unlock relics, relics create your accounts stronger. And you can just play the game for fun, it's a very cool, very unique way to play old school RuneScape. And if you guys have never tried it, you really should try the leagues. I think this is, alongside Deadman mode, the most fun you can have in RuneScape. And I'll make sure to record as much fun as possible and post it here almost daily on this YouTube channel. So hopefully you guys will enjoy and let's jump right into the leagues. For your very first relic, you are able to choose between three different relics, one being Endless Harvest, which allows you to collect resources from fishing, woodcutting and mining at the rate of two instead of one, plus they automatically get put into your bank. And this is the relic I will go for on both of my accounts. Now, the reason for that is I spend a lot of time editing and during my editing sessions, I still want to play leagues and I think that will be the best method for me to just AFK a skill while I'm editing. It's just overall, for me personally, my favorite relic. I used it in the first league, I'm using it again. The second option is Production Master. That one gives you full experience, but also, it creates all items at once. So whether you're smithing, fletching, cleaning herbs, cooking food or crafting, you do it all in one tick. It's extremely fast. And then the third option is a skilling prodigy, which increases all of your non-combat stats by 12. And this relic is huge, especially for an early game. It allows you to skip a lot of slow content and go straight into the end game content. This relic is going to be highly contested between, well, people who are probably going for ranks most likely and people who don't AFK as much. But me personally, as I said, Endless Harvest is the way to go. That actually could be huge, no joke. Because I can get a thousand GP, I think. Okay, so which one do we pick here? Uh, we can go for the coins or box. I think I go for the coins. Yeah, coins is a no-brainer. 1000 coins, head start, boys. That's huge, let's go. Alright, now that the things are relaxed a little bit, the plan at the start is simple, I'm getting 30 woodcutting while I was getting set up with my other account. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and complete basically the quests that I can, the easy tasks that I can, and... Uh, oh, I got a beginner clue scroll, and that was also a task that just happened on screen, very nice. But yeah, basically the plan, 30 woodcutting for now, then we'll figure it out from there. Two milk. Anytime now. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Cook's assistant is completed. Can I use his range? I don't think my... Oh no, my cooking is good already. Very nice. We just steve the man 28 times and that should be another task. There we go. 10 points. Thank you very much. <laughs> Why is there dead with both doors? No, let me through. There's 2,000 people, so there's too many. Look, look. There's not even enough wor worlds for people to play this. There is world cap... Every single world is capped with population. You can't even get in. Let's see where we get teleported to. Because I can go to Shiloh village fairly cheaply. Buy some fishing rod there. Okay, so we get teleported right over here. That's a pretty nice spot to be teleported to. We are in our good Shiloh village. Let's see if there's anything in this that we need. We have some extra cash. So 27 coin for a rope. We can buy one, right? Uh, and that's gonna be it for now. Oh, you know what else we could get? Pestle and Mortar, that's pretty huge. Let's get 50. I still want to keep some cash. There we have it, 20 fishing. We've done it through bait fishing. Yeah, we bought that fishing bait in Karamja, very nice. One more hit, we are 12 hit points and now we can go for the stronghold of security. I'll just get a couple more chicken though, just in case. If I don't, dude, if it kicks me out, oh my god. Oh, <laughs> we're alone and we're not lagging. My chickens now, yes! Alright, so I got a couple of HP levels, 10 attack, 12 strength, uh, we got a bit of raw chicken that we're gonna cook, we got a bunch of feathers that we can utilize even now if we want to, to just catch some trout, get the fishing even higher, and after that we get a free 10,000 gold, we buy some fire strikes, 
and then the plan continues so pretty good start so far finally the new worlds are out so we are no longer in 2000 population worlds that's very good but look at the amount of people playing this this is sick i'm, I'm so excited for this and uh, yeah let's get 10k i guess another task burn some food well shit okay don't mind me fun you know oh there we go this one is 50 points achieve my first level 30 that's huge that gets us very close i mean halfway done towards the next relic so maybe we stop here or we keep going maybe first 40 first 50 is also a task that i might look into getting what do we have we have achieved my first 30 achieve first 40 and first 50 we can get 50 fishing very quickly with these and get a bunch of points for that that could be really good strategy yeah, I see the boys are joining. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, our first level 40 skill. Extra 50 points. We are already on 300. Sick. Ooh, catch 50 salmon. Extra 50 points. That's sick. I had no idea. Nice. One more. There it is. 50 fishing, 50 extra points. We're getting there. We're getting there. If I wanted, if I get 60, I would be done. But I don't have enough feathers or bait. So we're gonna get ourselves 10k right now from the stronghold. And then I'll probably look into actually finishing the beginner clue for fun. Never know what you can get out of it. And then we'll play from there. There we go. That's my 2k. All right. That should bump our cash stack to 5k. And that should be the 10k that we were, came here to get. Perfect. But I also want to get my fancy boots. And here we are. This should be the task. Uh, if we just collect our fancy shoes. I like the colorful ones. Is that not a task? Ah, there we go. 10 points. Was it worth it? Eh. Okay, so now that we got the money, let's buy 300 feathers. I might buy 400 just to be safe. And then the rest will be used on casts, on fire strikes to be precise. How much do we... Okay, that's pretty cheap, right? So I fucked up and I forgot that I could just fish right here in Shiloh. So I kind of just threw away 200 coins. Is it gonna matter? Nah, not really. So let's go ahead, catch 400 trout and salmon over here finish off 60 then move on uh, i might need to relog because this is bugged oh there we go catch a salmon in karamja 50 extra points we need 30 points boys 30 points until we unlock the next area that is huge okay okay twitch chat just informed me that there is a task of equipping a spiny helm i don't know if i'm able to just do it with one slayer Fuck, I need defense level 5, shit. Um, let's just go do copper, let's go do copper instead. God damn it, man. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna be one of the first people that unlock the second relic. I think it's fair to say. I didn't know the fishing strat would be this good. But if I can mine this and not get cucked by it. Please, I just need to mine... There we go. Boom! We've done it! Lovely! Yes! Areas? Can I unlock the new area right now? How do I do it? Kenderin is gonna be my next unlock. Wait, I can't do it. Shit. But I can unlock a new relic. Right? <gasps> there we go. So, the next relics, you have Fairy's Flight, which is, in my opinion is pretty useless. You can teleport to... Wait, I can't do it. You can unlock a new relic, but it doesn't let me. What? It's bugged. I'm basically considering Eternal Jeweler or last recall last recall is insane but basically teleports you right back at the spot you just teleported from it could be insane for like room crafting or something but i'm going for eternal jeweler i will get all of these things but i think i need to be next to the bank in order to do it i get all of the different teleports around the game i think it's going to be extremely helpful for the early game i want to do that one let's go can i unlock it here relics eternal jeweler no it's locked what the fuck the problem is if I... Okay, I'll go Australian. What can possibly go wrong, right? Australian doesn't have people. I shouldn't get kicked out. But I think it's going to be great for what I want to do. You can't unlock this relic at this time. Dude, you're actually trolling, man. I'm wasting so much time on this. Can we make it through the bug? Let's enter the bank first. Then go relics. Eternal jeweler. And select. And confirm. Dude, this is so stupid. Like... Okay, let's try again. Relics, Eternal Jeweler, select, confirm. Did we do it? <gasps> Finally, it worked. Let's go. Nice. We got a bunch of 
a bunch of things that we can teleport to right now, which is huge. We get Ring of Wealth for when we train combat. Oh, that's awesome. There we go. And now we get bonus experience, ladies and gentlemen. That is sick. So this can teleport me to literally almost anywhere. I have a Grand Exchange teleport. I got Dueling Ring teleports now. This is huge. I'm going to keep this on me most of the time. It's going to be extremely helpful with the... With all sorts of different stuff, but first, let's go on and do more fishing. Because now we're gonna get even more experience. This is gonna be sick. Let's let's go, let's go back. Finally, oh my god. I just needed to complain on Twitter and then it works. Perfect. Alright, quick task. We gotta do a bunch of tasks right now. 30 to unlock the next one. One is simple. Restored five prayer points at an altar. Very nice. Make this. We feather it. Oh, that's it. Okay, that's an easy task right there. And let's go. Um, I'm gonna speak to Reldo real quick for this one, and then we're gonna do the museum. All right, we're gonna do museum mini quest very quickly, and I hope that this wheat field next to Drainer is actually gonna be the place for my clue scroll. If not, we cannot go to Ice Mountain just yet, so that's gonna be interesting. But let's go ahead, do this very quickly, get nice Slayer and Hunter experience while we're at it. Lovely. That took us three minutes, and it's also gonna give us some kudos for when we want to unlock fossil. I could rush bird's nest, but that's not really what I'm interested in. However, let's speak to Orlando, and he will give us experience in both. There it is, hunter and slayer. Look at this, 25 in every skill. We are now going to go ahead and complete daddy's home, which is also gonna give us some nice construction levels. Um, so we can do that right over here, perfectly, right next to museum. Very nice. It's all about improvising anyways, right? So we trade Zaf, we buy Staff of Fire, that's a task, right? If I equip it. There it is, 10 points. I'm not yet 5. There we go, we're 5 now, perfect. We can now get ourselves a Spiny Helmet. And we also got 250 total, sick. We can wear it. Let's go for 5... Uh, 400 cast seems good to me. I'll buy an extra um, air just in case. Because I need to get the level up. And I'm also gonna buy one of each other. Who's a good doggo? 10 points. Give him the bones. Woof woof. Hello. Pet him again. Who's a good boy? There we go. 10 points. Nice. Ask is to just chop down this tree. There we go. Achievement completed. There we go. And this is going to be our place for a little bit of time, let's say. Until we get, hopefully... Well, let's hopefully get lucky on the axes, but I'll use all my casts here. Uh, so I can then hopefully make enough money to finish Daddy's Home because I misplanned by a little bit, but I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be alright. There we go, and now Fire Strike all the way. Please, Rune X. Adamant X, that's already the best X I can use in a very long time. That's huge. I'll probably just Alk it. What would I... What would I need Mithril X for? Ava's Accumulator. And I actually unlock Mauritania, so I can get Ava's Accumulator. So I need to keep one. <gasps> yes! We got it! Rune X! Nice! That's so good! That's so good! Yes! Let's go! That's... Ooh, that's huge! Nice! And I don't even think I will need to sell it. I might just keep it. Um, because I'm good on money-wise. That is huge. Alright, lovely. Good loot. This is what we have gotten from uh, from 26. We've gotten 55k, but most importantly, we got all the axes that we needed. One more, and we are done. There we go. 60. Fishing, 100 points. That's, that's huge. That's really huge. Let's go on and do a little bit of wood cutting until we chop 400, uh, 100 willows. But I'll start on, on oaks to get up to 41 maybe. Or up to 31, I'm not sure, we'll decide. There we go. 41 wood cutting, we can now use a rune X. I'll finish 100 logs, and then we move on to the next thing. Did I do it? Chop some logs with a rune X. Oh no, that's a different task, very nice. Does that do it? Do I get a task or do I need to do more? Ah, there we go, perfect. 50 points. Chop 100 willow logs. Can drink then Asgarnia, then Mauritania last. And now we head back to the other guy. Lovely, so we used we used 19 nails to make this. And we are a 19 construction. And we get a bit of uh, stuff back. So we have a construction guide. We also get 10 points, which is lovely. Don't need that. We get the loot. 
Very sick. We got eight both of cloths. We're gonna go and sell these back. And we're gonna keep these teleports around, because why not? So let's quickly sell these. These are gonna be worth a bit of money. And I'll also sell the nails back. I didn't get it. Oh, there we go. 10, 10 points. Finally got the task. Earlier I killed a guy that was not full HP and I didn't get this task completed. We are 15 tasks away from unlocking the new area. 10 extra points for the Romeo and Juliet. Um, now I think I want to do Vampire Slayer. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm also going to buy a rake off of this man real quick and rake this patch because that's an easy task. Uh, that sounds like a fair price. 15 coins for a rake. We'll take it. Rake this one, then move on to Drainer. We might actually be able to do this clue. That's sick. Oh, there we go. Boys, girls, ladies, gentlemen. First clue scroll of the account. There we go, and we get 10 tasks, and we get some law runes, and we get a blue wizard hat. Very nice. Let's do a quick lap as well for extra points. And then we go ahead and do the vampire slayer. Oh, look at this many people. <laughs> what the fuck? What is this? Holy shit. Have you ever seen Draenor Agility Rooftop this active? My god. Okay. Is that gonna be a task done right here as I jump down? It could be. Is it? Nice. 10 points. Lovely. Please that be a task. Teleport of Arok? Surely it is, right? There we go. 50. Sick. I didn't know that was that big of a task. Nice. So I figure while I'm in Drainer, I might as well do Agility until we are 30. And then we finish off the Vampire Slayer. Obtain a Mark of Grace. 10 points. Seven tasks to go. I think it didn't update. Here we have it. And that is 30 agility. We can continue in Varrock later on. Gonna cook some food and go kill Vampire now. Get some very nice attack experience. And then continue on. And there we have it. How much attack XP was that? 10, 10 points and oh my god, we're 40 attack already. My god. I can't wait to do waterfall. We're gonna be 99 everything. Alright, this was much better now that there is no people and I was actually able to open the door and here we have it. This should give me some crafting XP. We go from 1 to 20 crafting straight away. I believe there is also a task but I need a chisel for it. So let's go ahead and get a chisel and we need to basically cut the sapphire and that's gonna be another task. So we need 5 more. We're gonna read through it, see which ones we can do to finally unlock Kandarin. I'm really looking forward to it. Chisel is purchased and we use it on this. That's a task, I believe, please. There we go, 10 points. Can I chisel any other? No, I can't, but we'll take. So we just pickpocketed a ham member for a task, but I'll stay here till, I don't even know, till I get a steel pickaxe. That's the one that I need. I know you can get steel pickaxe here and it would be extremely helpful, especially because there's more tasks that require me to use it. I swear it doesn't exist. I just had to complain. There we go, steel pickaxe, sick. Nice, now I can actually continue. Lovely. There it is. Mine ore with steel pickaxe. And now we just gotta make a few more. And then we go make bronze bar and we're done. Apparently one of the tasks was to equip a mithril item. There we go. Task completed. And we need one more. No, two more. There it is. Smelt a bronze bar. I'm gonna finish the full inventory. Might as well since I'm here. Alright, and here we have it. We spin a ball of wool and we have done everything we needed in order to unlock a new area. And I'm very decided that Kandarin is going to be my first unlock. I think the place has so much to offer. It would be a shame not to unlock it. The place is great. Uh, so let's just go ahead and click unlock. And click confirm. Kandarin. Uh, we look at the map. And the... Oh, look how cool this is. That animation is crazy. Damn. There we have it. Kandarin unlocked. Wonderful. Let's go do waterfall and get easy experience. Let's see if we teleport to Kandarin, what happens? Where do we get teleported to? That's what I'm wondering. Ooh. Okay, straight into Ardy. Right, lovely. I know a quick task is to just thieve a s like cake. Well, I get a thieving level, but I don't get a... Oh, there we go. 10 points. Chocolate slice. Lovely. So wait, which one do I go to? Uh, Trinon village, right? Do we know which tasks are 
with trees. So this one is one, you just use a tree. I think I can have the equipment on me. Oh yeah, nice. So here's a cool trick you can do. You attack a zombie, you wait for a zombie to hit you, and then you run. So this guy won't hit you. Even if it smacks me, I'm chilling. Oh my god, never mind. <laughs> wait, I thought it can hit 12, not 14s. Mother f Right, and here we go, let's see the XP. 40 attack and 16 strength turns into what? Let's see. Wait, was that? I think that was over 100,000 XP. Wait, 51 strength, 53 attack. My god, look at the total level as well. Holy, what? Alright, let's talk a little bit about strategy for a little bit because we are a little bit all over the place right now. So we're getting some silk until 40 thieving. Um, we need to bank this and then we can sell it to the silk merchant for 60 each. So every inventory is a little bit over 1k. So right now we're basically making money for our first dragon scimitar. So up until 40 I will do silks, at 40 till 55 I will do guards and from 55 on I will do Ardun knights. The plan to make a hundred and something K I think for a dragon scimitar and then we actually start getting some combat experience so that's gonna be a lot of fun. So we just noticed that fight arena is not completed that is the reason why we're gonna go do it right now that quest should give us a lot of free experience. So all we really need is this, and we can go right on and do it. Very nice. Here we go, Bouncer is defeated, and now this guy is gonna pipe up and we can just leave. Because it's made like that. I don't know why, but this guy just gets angry and you're just like, see you later, and you just leave. Um, so now this quest is gonna be done. I don't know what kind of attack XP I'll get for it. I think a lot. It could honestly get us very close to 60. If it doesn't, I can always buy an Eddie Sword, get that to 60, get 100k, continue on with the strategy, but genuinely curious how much XP we'll get here. We speak to Lady Servile over here, and that should be the quest completed. 12k attack, 2k thieving. Um, 58 attack, lovely. Okay, almost 59, and we're up to 41 thieving. So that's very good, and now I can just go thieve some guards, I guess. That's sick, honestly. I basically only get to train one attack level. Well, I don't think this is a smart way to thieve this guy. I think I'm gonna stay on Silk, because this is very inaccurate. But there we go, 50 points for a pickpocket. Speaking of inaccurate, here we go, five in a row. I'll get 28, because I think when I open 28 of these, I get another task. But then I might return back, back on Silk. There we go, the very first level 70. We get 100 points. I'm currently editing the first video for you guys, and this is a big one. And we still have a thousand feathers to go, so we're just gonna keep going. I will do this when I'm editing the videos, I think. Uh, on 80, we get 100 more points, and then on 99, we get a lot more points as well. When I'm done editing, back to thieving, and then we get a dragon scimitar. Alright, I think this is going to be it for the episode number one. A lot of skilling, but we all know that that is the case in the first episode, even from the Twisted League. Now, the idea is very simple. Get to tier 3 relics before we start PVMing. And when we start PVMing, the whole thing is going to be extremely fun. I'm playing both accounts and I'm absolutely loving it. And if you guys made it this deep into the video, you probably liked it as well. Consider liking and consider subscribing. My goal is to reach 100k by the end of the year. I think I can do it, especially with the help of leagues. And I'll make sure to upload a lot for you guys. So, subscribe. Be here, new video tomorrow, and stay safe and have fun. Bye-bye.